the next part is we're going to talk about is is key is the the piece around uh, delivering your applications as part of the platform through continuous integration and continuous delivery for cloud native. And it's, there's some automation here for the hybrid cloud, which allows you to build off Kubernetes as a container orchestration platform for just the execution of those, um, of your app, containerized applications, but also the full management throughout all the different um, cloud providers you might run or host it uh, on your own cluster on-prem under your private cloud. And uh, Red Hat's uh, uh, distribution for uh, Kubernetes or enterprise grade Kubernetes is uh, Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform, which provides you with the ability for um, establishing that common layer in hybrid cloud. So this can pr present the common API that uh, is used to manage applications across all these clouds and various uh, infrastructure as well. So this gives you the portability um, you're looking for to really be uh, a bit more uh, agile or be flexible when it comes to delivering that innovation at speed. In OpenShift 4, um, which we uh, delivered in 2019, um, comes in a couple different flavors um, in a sense of how you can get this onto the various um, uh, compute platforms. So you can go with the full stack automation. So you can say, I want you know uh, it to fully uh, set up the, the machines that run the um, I want it to update as it needs to update and it's completely self-managed. Or I might have some pre-approved kind of rel stacks I need to work with so I can use the pre-existing infrastructure and I can layer the platform uh, bits on top of that for the management aspects. So let's talking about the container orchestration layer. Let's talk a bit, a bit more about, if you will, the application orchestration. And so OpenShift itself has been a good platform for doing continuous integration and continuous delivering. Um, part of that is we've delivered Jenkins as a service on the platform itself. Um, so a way we've extended uh, the platform to take the industry leading open source project for CI CD and, and included it with OpenShift. And we also can work with uh, Jenkins hosted off cluster if you already have your own Jenkins farm you're, you've invested a lot in that and you just want to coordinate um, with your OpenShift cluster, easy to do. And uh, also if you wanted to run um, you know, a complete third party, you can run um, as desired and then deploy your applications directly into to OpenShift itself. So it has the type of flexibility. So using the OpenShift pipeline, um, there's a couple different, there's ways to look at how this is broken down. Uh, often people will look at it in these different columns as uh, you'll see the different environments, so the deployment cluster, or the test cluster, the, the uh, user assistant testing and, and production one. So as you go through these different uh, environments or promotion gates, you'll have the nice isolation, which you can cover through you know, individual clusters, as well as uh, various um, you know, separation through an image registry or even separations of registry from non-production um, to production. And from that, you can break it up and actually bring in whatever existing processing and tools you have today. So either you can leverage what we give you, or you can work with many of our partners and, uh, and come up with a solution that probably fits your needs um, based on the existing tool set you have that may not be aligned with the, the Jenkins technology exactly. Um, so you'll see a lot of things there around artifact repositories, various CI CD tools, uh, and so on. And there was a, a small icon on the previous page, and one thing that we're working uh, hard on at, at Red Hat is this uh, project called Tekton, which is a Kubernetes native uh, pipeline solution. So you can think of it as uh, in some ways, like a serverless uh, cloud native CI CD solution. It's it's uh, building, if you will, sort of the Jenkins concepts of CI CD, um, but really focusing in on a new cloud native paradigm so that it only spins up, does the task it's needed, and then goes away. Um, those pipeline definitions are follow some of the industry leading um, kind of best practices around you know, GitOps and isolation. So you, you keep the pipeline definition and source and the configuration. And so we're doing a lot of work here and there's a, some previews in the OpenShift 
pipelines feature that you can find uh, on uh, openshift.com. And so when you look at it, um, as we talk about the pipeline, it has these different gates to be able to build the application, create a container image, and then kind of promote that along with its configuration from environment to environment. Um, you can see, you can expand on that to include the right level of testing and, and security uh, validation al along the way, so early on. And in code development, you can get the unit testing uh, during code quality, you can insert the right code quality uh, checking, um, and then vulnerability sc scanning, et cetera, all along um, the way through your continuous integration and your continuous delivery pipeline. Um, so one of the keys here is we need to, uh, you know, security is a point in time, things change a lot, new vulnerabilities are found. Um, so you have to do a lot of things to continuously rebuild and redeploy to make sure everything is, is staying current and has the right fixes. So we have the entire model, which will detect, um, you can set up to detect uh, base changes in the container and it will rebuild and redeploy all along the entire pipeline. So you don't have to worry about these things anymore. They just sort of self-manage themselves. And there's a lot of other capabilities that you can do in this area as well. 